Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and welcome to volume 2 of LEGO games I found for Java. LEGO Indiana Jones is a platformer, and a pretty damn good one. It's not stereotypical, you get to jump from one platform to the other, but you also get to use your whip to get across gaps, you get chased by giant boulders, the game is a marvelous experience. It tries to sum up three movies, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom and The Last Crusade, but even if the levels indicate remotely those movies, most of the game is just platforming, and many backgrounds are reused. But that isn't that bothersome because the levels get more and more elaborate the more you progress, and with each level comes something new that you haven't seen before in the game. Overall, the game is creative, a good platformer with many moves that surpass the stereotypical platformer, so overall, it's a game you should definitely check out. LEGO World Soccer is amazing for Java, it's as good as FIFA. The controls are great once you get used to them and it's fun to play the game. The cute characters along with the great gameplay make up for a wholesome experience. Also in this game you can use power-ups like shields for your characters or power-ups that boost the speed of your LEGO characters, power shots. And there are also hazards like cannons on the field. There are around 5 fields and 5 opposing teams. Overall the game is fantastic, you should definitely check out the game. LEGO Bionicle Challenge is an isometric racer, and one that has some unique quirks. This time you need to watch for your energy and for your fuel, and you replenish your energy and fuel by racing over red and yellow panels. You also need to collect branches, and as power-ups you can collect shields so that the opponents can damage you, and also you can damage your opponents too. Each of the game's three Bionicles has a different attack. Yup, you heard it right, you get only 3 Bionicles to race with in this game. It's weak, I don't know why they didn't make more playable characters, I mean the game has 15 tracks, a great number. And the 15 tracks are good looking too, the effects in the game are great too, so in the game mechanic and in the visuals the game is fantastic. I mean I usually don't like Isometric Racer, but this one is actually fun, I don't know why they didn't make more playable characters. But aside of this flaw, the game is really fun. I mean the only flaw I can call in this game is the small number of playable characters, because in Rust the game is great and that means something because I usually don't like isometric racers. Bionicle Heroes is a pretty underwhelming game. It has good production value, but it gets dull. It tries to imitate the PC version, but ends up being a cute, dumbed down version of the great PC one. You get puzzles to solve too, and you get to play with 4 Toas. But still, the game gets dull pretty easy. And for some reason, the only enemy you encounter in the game are crabs. LEGO Escape is this game where you play Tetris with a character. You have to catch up the falling LEGO pieces and stack them like you would play Tetris. Also occasionally bombs drop, which you have to toss away. Power ups drop too, the shovel icon that drops dirt on your structures. Also if you leave gaps within your structures, they will crumble and fall. You pass a level when you reach the point, the, this point in a level. And the game consists of 15 levels set in 3 locations. Overall it's a phenomenal game, in which you will have a lot of fun. I like that with each level you get pieces that are harder to fit together, which puts you into thinking fast. And it's it's great, it's great for it's great to have a little bit of brain activity. Though the game is mostly simple. It's it's really simple to play. Even a toddler will make it through this game. But you should try the game out, it's fantastic. Ok, so this was the video, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section, you will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, and if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.